In this part, we are going to talk about the CDC concept is the change data capture. There are two ways to follow the change of the data. The first one is the SCD1 and the second one is the SCD2. In this video, we are going to deep dive into these two concepts to determine what is the main uh, and what is the purpose of each one. You can use change data capture CDC in a delta life table to update table based on change in the data source. CDC is supported in the delta life table, SQL and Python interface. Delta life table support updating table with slowly changing dimension. SCD1 and SCD2. The use of SCD1 to update record directly history in not retained for record that are updated. SCD2 now is available in public preview is to retain a history of a record either on all update or on update to a specific set of column. How is CDC implemented with a data life table? You must specify a column in the source data on which to sequence record which a delta life table interpret as a monetically increasing representing of the proper ordering uh, of the data source. A delta life table automatically hand a delta table uh, arrived out of order. For a SCD uh, change uh, two, delta life table propagate the appropriate sequencing value to the start at and end at column of the target table. They should be at most one distinct uh, update per key at each sequencing value and null sequencing value are unsupported. To perform a CDC processing with a delta life table, you first create a streaming table and then use an apply change into a statement to specify the source key and sequencing for the uh, change feed. To create the target streaming table, use the create or refresh streaming table statement in a SQL or the creating stream table. A function in a Python to create the streaming definition of a CDC processing use the apply change statement in the SQL to the apply change function in a Python. What data object are used for delta life table CDC processing. When you declare the target table, two data structure are created in a Hive Metastore. A view using the name assigned to the target table and an internal baking table used by delta life table to manage CDC processing. This table is Name it by preparing apply change storage to the target table name. For example, if you declare a target table named DLT CDC target, you will see a view named DLT CDC target and the table named apply change storage data live CDC target. In the Metastore, uh, environment. Creating a view allow delta life table to filter out the extra information, for example, components uh, of the version. That is required to handle out the, of the order of the data. To view the processed data query in the target view, you can also query the, the row 
data in the apply change storage. They to uh, see delete your code and extra version column. If you add the data manually to the table, the records are assumed to be come before other uh, change because the version column are uh, missing. Here are some limitation of the CDC uh, metrics for the uh, target table such as number of the output row are not available. SCD type 2 update will be add a history row for every input row every uh, even if no column have changed. The target of the apply change into query are apply change. Function cannot be used as a source for a steaming table, a table that record from the target of an apply change into. Query or apply change function must be a live table. Expectation are not supported in a apply change into query or apply change uh, function in Python language. Two expectation for the uh, source or target dataset. For this way, add an expectation on the source data by defining an intermediate table with the required expectation and you use this uh, dataset as the source for the target table or add expectation on a target data with the downstream table that read input data from the target table. 